my channel Trucker Rudy here I am on my final day on the final stretch to go home I'll be in Winnipeg tonight uh, if nothing goes wrong but uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a beautiful morning again uh, it's starting to get a little foggy in some areas but uh, it's not bad uh, it's not as foggy as I've seen it in, uh, in, in fall times but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's definitely a beautiful day and uh, and uh, it's a little bit on the cooler side I only show 11 degrees right now at Celsius but uh, yeah I'm gonna go over to uh, Fargo North Dakota and uh, I'm gonna go stop at the Thermo King over there and I'm gonna go pick me up some uh, diesel filters and uh, oil filter for the EP unit and then I'll probably do an oil change on the EP unit tomorrow so we'll have to get that done I usually like to get it uh, uh, oil change done every six months on the EP unit but uh, on this this time I, I didn't get around to it all of a sudden I noticed oh shit I should do that eh and uh, I looked at it when I got it done and I got it done on uh, January 13th of this year so <laughs> It's a little more than six months already, but uh, oh well, I'll get it done this time. And uh, my buddy there, he's uh, he's got a shop uh, there in Steinbeck, and uh, uh, he offered me to uh, come down there and get it done over there, so that way we can do it inside where it's not as cool or not as cold, I guess. But anyways, uh, get the day rolling here and. Uh, We'll see what, we, what the day brings today. Now let's have a take a look at this truck that's just passing me. It's a little tiny truck, right? Well, think again. Have a look at the trailer that's he towing behind him. He's got axle after axle after some more axles. And then he put a long load sign on there. Hmm. Sometimes wonder, eh? I, I sometimes wonder how come they got so many axles on one trailer, you know? But, oh well, I just kind of figured that was interesting and I would show that to you guys. Alrighty, just picked up the uh, fuel filter and the oil filter here at Thermo King in Fargo, North Dakota. And I'm gonna go over to the Petro and uh, go have me something to eat. I'm getting hungry. Alrighty. Just getting ready to leave Fargo here right now. Just had me a bite to eat over here. And <clears throat> we'll uh, try and get down to Winnipeg right now. And uh, I just deliver my trailer up there in Winnipeg. <clears throat> or uh, at the uh, company uh, terminal. And then from there I'll probably just be bob tilling home. It's another hour from there to go home so Anyways, uh, get going here and uh, we'll see uh, <clears throat> see how uh, fast we'll get across the border today. We got about two and uh, three quarter hours to the border. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll see it on the road. Alrighty, just coming up to the border right now. We'll see what the border has to say today. Looks like it's uh, pretty slow in there today. Oh, not too bad. A couple of trucks. But anyways, try and get across here as soon as we can and put the hammer down to Winnipeg. Alrighty, we made it across uh, with very little trouble. Well, that's always good. Only a few little questions and that's it. I'm always happy when I can do that. And. Uh, there was actually uh, two lines open this time. I could go right to the booth. I didn't even have to wait in line or nothing. So it was really, really quick today. So I'm happy about that because, uh, well, I'm, I'm going home. So I want to get home as quick as I can, right? Go we'll see the wife and kids, you know? But uh, anyways, uh, on our way to Winnipeg, we got uh, 81 miles to go. So about an hour and a half, we should be in Winnipeg. So. Uh, Alrighty, just finished dropping my trailer up here in Winnipeg and unfortunately I didn't get a load uh, going back to Steinbeck so just going to have to bobtail back home I guess but 
Anyways, just sitting there at the light and waiting to get it, get a green to get so we can go. Alrighty, I am just coming toward in towards uh, my hometown here called Steinbach, Manitoba. Home sweet home for me at least. That's where they're building a brand new credit union up there on the horizon. And that's where I turn off to go home, so just about home sweet home just about ready to go hug my wife and kiss her and hug the kids anyways alrighty I am home sweet home so uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m. so thanks for watching mm -hmm.